We all thought that wizard was illiterate. And it turns out we were exactly right. But then a miracle happened. The word on the street is that Jesus himself suddenly appeared and banned Pioneer's four most important combo cards. It is a brand new day for Pioneer deck building. And what better way to celebrate than by honoring our close friend and savior? Surprise, Lily. No matter how harsh the world is, Lily is there to remind us that there's always something to be excited about. That's why today we shall surprise our opponents with Lily Tribal. We have the brand new Lily, which can kill a creature, but also forces discard, which works very well with Waste Not. When our opponent discards, good stuff happens. And to capitalize on that, we have discard. We have discard. We have discard, and it's Croxa, which makes our opponent discard. But because we are a Liliana tribal deck, we can take advantage of Liliana's triumph. For two mana, our opponent sacrifices a creature, but if we control a Lily, they also discard a card. Having instant speed discard is really good, because once our opponent knows we're a discard deck, they're just gonna dump their hand. But with instant speed discard, we can force our opponent to discard right after they've drawn for the turn. To help us win, we have Hazard, which is indestructible, and it goes well with Bantu board wipe. We're only three mana, we destroy all creatures, but on the downside, our lands don't untap on the following turn. But the drawback isn't too bad in our deck, because oftentimes we end the turn with zero cards in hand. So hurry for that, now it's on the sideboard. We have non creature hate. Weenie hate, thick boy hate, graveyard hate, and planeswalker hate. That is the deck. Now it's time to spank. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more pioneer content. Without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand is acceptable. We'll keep. Oh, and it's mono black. Hold brutality. Take one. Play another knight and pass. We'll triumph. Well, kill one of the knights and pass back. Oh, they pumped the knight. How unexpected. So in that case, play triumph and no more knight for them. They animate mutable. Pondles for two, and they pass back. Okay. Whole thought seeds. So we'll do this. Play it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's so bad. And why they don't animate mutable? Okay, we'll go Lily. Up Lily and our opponent draws. They dump the push, pass back, hit Wanderer, and make Mutaval, hitting Lily down to three. Things be getting complicated. We'll up Lily to four, play Croxa. Our opponent be down to zero cards, and then send it back. Ooh, opponent be Thought Season. That's not nice. Sadly, we'll have to target the Wanderer instead of Mutaval. Then they animate Mutaval, hitting Lily down to two, and bringing back Wanderer. Gosh, Cole again. But Lily's on two. We don't upper this turn, and we bring back Croxa. We block one, one goes through, Lily dies. Otherwise, it was the Cole again, and Cole again can be pretty valuable. What can you do? Bring back Croxa and keep Lily on two. Oh my gosh, a thought sees. That mean. A lot. They're not going after Lily. Looks like they want to draw instead. Ooh, pull Croxa. Swing. They chump. Play Croxa. Question is, will they draw? Now they go to three, so they have to draw here. Yep, but they in a bad spot. They attack Lily for two. And there's a concede. What a spanking. Going into game two. Let's dump this for this and with that. Let's go to game two. Opening hand could be really bad if we don't hit a third land, but we'll try it. Oh, and they're packing a ley line. What a bully. Land nice. We take two. And why wow, they pass. Okay. Croxa. And what? Wow, they, they kept in fatal push. They probably didn't have any cyborg cards to bring in. They hit us for four. Oh, and waste not. To buy some time, play Lily, kill Wanderer, and pass it back. They be going with the Mutavault again, fondling Lily, but they're passing back again. And we pull Hazard. For the sake of the curve, we'll play Hazard and hope they didn't bring in Rankle. They go for Mutavault again. And if we can hit a fifth land here, that'd be Muy Grande. Oh, yes. Because now we'll play Waste Not, and we have Colgan. What? How did they know? Fine, we'll let it happen. So we'd be down to one Colgan. But now that they've seen our hand, they have to be feeling a little bit hopeless because they work so hard to kill Lily, even though we have a second Lily. So to help our opponent out a bit, we'll get rid of one of them. So now it's slightly more fair. And ooh, another Colgan. We make them discard now. Yeah, seems stupid, but I guess so. They don't play line. <laughs> it just keeps on coming. Just like the mama. But now they have a shot here. They could mute all at Lily. Will they go for it? No, they just go for the kill. Ooh, maybe we're a little too nice to them. Could have had a second one. Okay, okay, Colgan again. They dump another ley line. And actually, this card draw is hurting our hazard. Gosh, drawing so many cards is just so difficult. They cast the rider. And we get back Lily. First, we shall do this. Colgan. They dump a push. Land, okay. Play Lily. Nerf. And since they're at eight, we'll swing in. And they take it. They already down to three. Oh, and they do have a rank. Oh, that's so dirty. If they don't make us discard, though, we're still in a pretty good position. Yeah, I don't think they would choose discard. Not with Waste Not Out. Nope, they just go with the sack. Oh, and there's a triumph. <laughs> Uh, what a way to finish. Make them sack and discard. And now up Thick Lily. And there is the match. Who knew butt cheeks could be spread that wide? But now we know. Now it's on to the next match. Opening hand. We cannot keep this. We're gonna maul. This is also pretty horrible, but we'll keep. We pull Lily. Now let's try for brutality. Oh, so they're blue red aggro, but they'd be stuck on one land. We take one. And might as well call again now. Hooray, back to our opponent. Another monastery. Please pull land here. Oh, okay, that works too. Call again. I have four cards in hand. Still no land. Interesting. The land for us. Hooray. The question is, do we play Lily this turn? If they hit a second land, they can kill Lily with the haste dudes. I think Hazard's a little bit safer. And then pass back. Oh, and they do hit a second land. Oh, and they're putting the auras on. We take five and they draw two cards. Oh, we shall do this. Triumph, waste not, and clap for five. Opponent pulls a third land, playing Soul Scar and Dragon. Opponent has one card in hand. How about we Croxa? Opponent discards Wild Slash. Oh, but now Hazard's taken out of action. Oh, no. That is an oh, stinky. We'll pass back. And they Wild Slash us, putting us down to six. Man, oh, man, what to do? Probably the safest option. Play Lily, upping Lily to discard. Now hold back with Hazard to block. What shall I? 
our opponent do? They hit us for two, and our opponent passes back. This doesn't look good for them. Triumph, and there is a concede. Going into game two, we'll stump this for this and with that. Let's go to game two. Opening hand seems all right. We'll keep. Opponent plays Monastery. Pull we'll Passage, and opponent plays Crash Through, and an Opt. And a Colgan, nice. So in that case, we'll bite the bullet and just play Waste. Opponent plays Jace, and a Crash Through. We'd be at 14. Decisions, decisions. Could Colgan this turn, or we could just go Lily. Let's actually go Lily, Nerf Monastery, and pass back. Ooh, opponent plays Chandra. That's going to be tough. Although we do have Ryder. What? They're lightning at Lily? No. You talk about a good turn from them, and they can flip Jace as well. Oh, but they discard land in the process, which means we get two mana and make them sack. Okay, okay. Kill Chandra and pass back. Maybe casting off and they pass him back. Oh, so many lands. How about we Culligan? They counter. Fine. Pass back. They play another Jace. But as this card ability actually helps us. Oh my gosh. Play Rider and pass back. They use Jace to play Crash Through. Another one. Then they just pass back. Anger of the Gods. Okay. Swing at Jace. And they're blocking and I'm sure they're going to flip. And they discard a land. Should we castle and take three damage? We won't get any life this turn. Ugh, I think we should wait. Okay. Back to our opponent. They play Monastery. Then an Opt. Then a Soul Scar. Ooh. Then a Wizard's Lightning. And another Wizard's is lightning so that will be lethal which means we're going to game three going into game three since we're on the play we shall dump some wipe for this and with that let's go to game three opening hands all right we'll keep i'm play soul scar mage Ooh, let me pull brutality but for now let's play waste not i'm gonna play sprite dragon but no third land for us well buy some time let's try and discard them and kill the dragon another dragon in hand for them take the lightning draw land no land and back to our opponent i'm plays dragon then crash through putting us at 14 and still no land well make them sack and back to our opponent i'm plays another soul scar mage and a crash through and a wizard's lightning so, the dragon's out of range of anger. That's not good. And just when we pull land. All right, so best move here. Make them discard and kill Soulscar. They discard another dragon. And then just try and survive. They pull land, cool. They put us down to three. Now let's get rid of that dragon. Better late than never. Hit them for two. And please, no wizard's lightning. Ops. And hits a land. Another waste not. With zero cards in our opponent's hand. Let's just go Croxa. I'm gonna play Soulscar Mage. Oh, and Cole again. So we shall do this. Swing for two. Now the question is, can we Cole again on their draw step? If they hit an instant, that means Soulscar will get saved. And we'll go to one. Or we can just kill the Soulscar Mage now. That's probably Probably the safer option is wait one turn for Culligan. Yeah, we gotta do that. And then send it back. Opponent hits a land, as do we. Put them at five. And after they've drawn, force discard. Oop, they have opt. They have another opt. And they do discard, which means we have lethal and there's a concede. A very close game and match, but our thickness persists, taking us to the next match. Opening hand is total balls. We're gonna mull. Still a little balls. We'll keep. Start with Croxa. Oh, and it looks like a ramp deck. Very suspicious. They put a shrine in hand. And for now, we'll just pass back on it swings and passes the turn back. What? And how about this? Return Croxa and force discard. And they discard a land. Another Lily. Well, play Lily. And discard. One discards Ugin. What is happening? They just not have any ramp cards. We pull Waste Knot. Nice. And play it. Then Croxa. They discard a land. Up Lily. They discard another land. But now we'll have to pass back. Lily takes it. And they play a tracker. Okay. And it'll be honest. Triumph. Let's force a sack. They discard Cavalier. Kill their tracker. Man, oh man, our opponent's getting spanked. At some point, they could bring back World Breaker. We pull a second Waste Knot. But instead of playing it, we shall up Lily. And then bring back Croxa. Our opponent be running out of time. Especially since there's a concede. Going into game two. Let's dump this for this and without. Let's go to game two. Opening hand, we've seen better, but we've also seen worse. So we'll keep. Opponent ramps with Grazer. And nice, waste not. Employ it. And what? Opponent passes. Okay. Set up with Lily. Up Lily. They do have Cultivate. Is it just me or is Cultivate very inappropriate? Like, that has to be a JJ, right? Anyway, play Karoxa. They discard Winnower. Might as well play Lantern. Up Lily and pass back. Opponent plays Tracker. Then a land. And they'd be passing. What to do? What to do? How about we play Karoxa? They discard World Breaker. And it is tempting to bring back Karoxa with Lily. But I think we might be better off going with the ultimate. So we'll go that route. Out, nerf and pass back on it draws and plays nissa who shakes them titties but she won't be shaken for long Ooh, we also pull thick lily but i think the priority here spank nissa uh oh and negate Oof, that is not good now our lily's in trouble what is these ugin okay so there goes everything so we're going to game three going into game three let's bring in some more discard and with that let's go to game three opening hand is kind of mediocre but we'll keep thought sees oh these are tough one probably tracker on throws down the grazer another thought sees let's go karoxa they dump hentai and speaking of dump they pass back another land one of their cards in hand is a land for sure do you want to risk our thought seize over it no i suppose we'll wait a turn they play that land we pull triumph now let's go ahead with the thought seize Ooh, that 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 bad okay back to opponent opponent finds questing beast how lucky of them oh my gosh i'm a wipe now play uro and lily cool up lily pass back when plays land and passes we pull a land so in that case we'll go lockwin another land could use lily to bring back crocs of it instead but lily on five and pass back uh oh what will call fair this is these top deck that triumph withdraw a card oh my god gosh look, look at this how are they drawing these cards and we're drawing we're drawing nothing always not and no matter what we do Ugin Pugin kills us next turn everything about this match was terrible we're just gonna move to the next one and forget this one happened all oh, opening hand has a pretty good curve so we'll keep oh and it looks like a green deck start our thought sees you well this is kind of a problem just to buy some time let's go burning tree pray for board wipe one plays a 
the burning tree. Passes in Lily. Okay. We'll take out burning tree. Opponent swings for one and passes back. What a loser. Play Lily. Spank their token and they pass back again. Things aren't going so well for them. Might as well discard. Oh, I can see why they're having some problems. We'll take a champion. Up Lily and pass back. Okay. Now it's just getting sad. Oh, sees again. And what? They, they drew another one. Uh, okay. And they hit a land. Nope. They, they get burning tree. Oh, and there's a concede. So we can't even ultimate Lily. But oh well. I'm going into game two. Let's dump this for this. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand. We have some board wipes. So we'll keep. Upon plays Lionel War. We pull a land. Ooh, and Rona. So we'll get around our board wipe. All right. Play Croxa. Opponent discards Lionel War. And they play a news. So farewell, Croxa. And they make their use of 4 4. So Rona's be spanking us. Probably just go with the board wipe now. Even though that only takes out two things. Eh, I guess we'll do it. With two cards in hand, they probably have something here. Growth. And they pass. Nice pull push. Play it. And if they don't play a creature here. Oh, never mind. That's exactly what they need. Hitting us for 10. And it's almost impossible to get out of this at this point. But here's what we'll try. Lily nerfing here. And after our opponent's drawn, triumph. Oh, they figured it out. Shoot. I was hoping we could out clever them there. So we're going to game three. Opening hand five lands. No. Oh my gosh. Sure. One was Lana We pull waste not. Okay. We'll play it. They play burning tree and Rona. That's so good against us. We pull Lily and wait for the wipe. They play love struck, hitting us for seven. And this feels derp de der. We shall wipe. Back to our opponent. Ooh, opponent passes back to us. Ryder. Okay. Opponent passes back again. And a land. Hooray. Play Lily. Make them sack and discard. I think our opponent's in shock. They're taking a super long time here. And realizing that they're no match for us. There is the concede. Talk about a great comeback. Now it's on to the next match. Opening hand looks okay. All the opponent is a Lurus deck. And if they're a burn deck, Thought Seize isn't the best, but we'll try it anyway. Oh, looks like it's a feather deck. How interesting. Thought Seize. Uh oh, stinky. Casting the auras on Hoplite will give it a 1 1 counter, which means next turn will be a 5 6. That's not good. So let's take Cartouche and try and hold out for Hazard. Oh, they pull Idol on and they play Alcid. Oh, Liana, nice. But now we got a pass back. A opponent plays Eyes and Spanks us for 5. Second Lily. And I was trying to distract her opponent on Alcid. Oh, Ethereal Armor. Making it a 7 8. Oh my gosh, that's 11 damage. So pretty much we need board wipe here. Nope, so we're going to game two. Going into game two, we're bringing in some wipe and with that, let's go to game two. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Two lands, no red source. But all right, we'll keep. Pull another Lily and start with Waste Knot. Oh, opponent plays Apostle with protection from black. That's racist. Oh my gosh, speaking of racist, no land back to opponent. Opponent plays Boon and Armor. Fisting us for five. Come on, Triumph. Oh my gosh, you see that? The magic gods are on our side after all. Opponent plays all that glitters, but I bet they didn't expect this. Boom. <laughs> Ah, so much for protection from black. But we are still stuck on two lands. Back to opponent. Ooh, another apostle. And hooray, a land. Let's put out Lily. Now let's see if they can take her out this turn. I'm gonna play armor. And all that glitters. Well, they do go for Lily. And we pull a fourth land. This is a tough one. We could wipe. Then we'll lose a turn. If we make them discard the promise that our zombies can't block the apostle. And if it just be extra safe, we shall wipe. And just pass back. Opponent plays Luris in hand. A land, nice. Peroxa. They discard push. And we pull a third Lily. And it shocks. Plays Luris. And brings back apostle. Okay. We definitely gotta kill Luris this turn. This this move, hold on the coal again, and kill Luris with Lily. Okay, back to opponent. What is this? No auras? They could have played the boon from Graveyard. But instead, they go second Apostle, and we pull Lily. This be tough, but we'll play Lily again. Force discard. Oh, and they discard land. And they don't eat our Croxa. Oh, they're not making good use of that ability. But too bad for them. We can't block the Apostles. And it is unfortunate. Boon comes back, and they use one to finger Lily. Now she's down to one. Oh, and another Bantu. So many options. Do we wipe and keep Lily out? But I think we're fine even without Lily. Okay, in that case, we'll swing. Putting them at eight. And actually, maybe we should go with the wipe. Yeah, because Lily will put them at five. Pull again at three, and then Lily finishes them next turn. That looks good. So that's what we'll do. Up Lily. Wipe. And on their draw step, Force discard. They discard Eidolon, and it be farewell to them. So now it's on to game three. Game three, no change to the sideboard. And I like the triumph, so we'll keep. Opponent plays Hoplite. Another triumph. Nice. What is these? Our opponent swings for one. Okay. And rest in peace. That's fine as well. Even though they're a Lurus deck. Uh, okay. Should we play Croxa? Probably just triumph. Yeah, we'll hang on the triumph. Opponent plays all the glitter. Swings in for four, but guess what? See ya. Oh, and then they thought sees. How unexpected. And they take Lily from us. How dare they? Okay, might as well Croxa. They discard a land and they put Loris in hand. Okay, pass back. There'll be Loris. And there's Lily. Nice. Play Lily, keep Loris in check and pass it back. One plays Alcid. Okay. As long as Lily doesn't die this turn. Oh, Cartouche. No more. No more Auras. Oh my gosh. Lily, I'm so sorry. But we shall have our revenge. Wipe. Send it back to them and make them sack. Oh, what apostle. We might be in trouble here. Lily, nice. Play Lily buy some time and pass back. Oof, always something. Fatal push, pass back. And Lily dies again. Pop like the land. Pass back. I'm gonna be swinging. We'll fatal push this hoe here. At least it was a polite hoe. Oh goody, another land. Pass back. Opponent swings for three. And oh goody, a, a land. The flood is quite strong. And they play SRAM. We could really use some board wipe. I mean, I guess that's fine too. Like that. They discard a land. We go to seven. Oh my gosh. Eleven lands. Hooligan. Same thing as last time. And they discard the same land as last time. We get a one. Oh my gosh. Well, protection from black's pretty good. Where are non-lands? Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, there's more. oh what more land? Oh my god. 
gosh, how, how? Racism, I say, but what can you do? So overall, we went 3-2, not too bad. Bontu and Triumph were really good against creature decks, and Lilies were good against non-creature decks. I certainly enjoyed the deck, and I hope you did as well. If you'd like to see more Pioneer content, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And let's see what we got here. We've got Fabled Passions. Uh, words. Fabled. I can't speak. All right. Fabled. Forget it. You know, it's a good card. It's a good card. What do you think of this card? Good. Okay. That. That's. That. Yeah. That's. That's some excitement. Uh, we'll, we'll give that one a full hot dog. You know. All right. Let's do it. This pack. Oh. 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 That is nice. A questing beast. Lily. Look. Questing beast. I know. I. So exciting. All right, next pack. We got a mythic. Oh, um, is is bad. I mean, it's, it's okay. Lily, what do you think? Okay, now you're definitely having a stroke, but it, it's fine.